Scott's neat. Make it a double. You religious? Seriously? That's the line you're going with. I'm just curious if you believe in a higher power. Imagine if the world had utterly changed and no one had noticed a thing. I'm talking about an international stealth operation to acquire and shutter every company researching artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence? That's a real thing. Oh, it's here. I think an AI slipped into the world unannounced and sent out to strangle its rivals in the crib. Have we any idea what became of Harold Finch after the night of the bombing? I assure you, Mr. Finch and anyone else who worked with him are no longer of any concern. I'm sure whatever rock they decide to hide under, you'll find them as soon as they emerge. We're getting numbers again. Numbers? From the machine? We're running out of time, Harold. We need to get back to work. There is a larger power in play now, one that we are presently ill-equipped to face. We have to do something. We couldn't even if we want to. We have no resources, John. There is no sanctuary. If you had nine lives before, now you're reduced to one. We don't need jobs, Harold. We need a purpose. And you need to trust the machine. Wait, you mean the machine put me in the silly ass job? It's the only way to keep you alive. And off Samaritan's radar. Just promise me John's a barista. <laughs> You don't get to sit this one out. And the thing we're up against, it has virtually unlimited resources. Governments working unwittingly at its behest, operatives around the globe protecting it. You know how many we have? Five. Six, if you count the dog. You have to pick a side, because this is war. <laughs> You should know you're not the only one who figured it out. You're one of three. The other two will die in a traffic accident in Seattle in 14 minutes. 